Can I do the per intro? Yeah, go for it. What's going on, guys? I'm Allie Roots. And I'm Ryan Roots. And together, we are... Does it work that way? Yeah! Okay. I wanted to do it today. <laughs> Well, R and then at Ryan and then Allie makes Rally. Allie then Ryan makes. Yeah, but Alan? it's alphabetical order whenever we. Allen Roots. Allen <laughs> Roots and together we, we are, are Allen Roots. Roots. <laughs> hey, we just wanted to give you a just a quick update because we haven't done like a daily vlog in a little while. I'm still feeling not great. Still taking my vitamin C, um, and I am getting better, which is good. And all the emotional distress with lychee, which now it's just appears to be liver disease, and we're giving her the den, demon, demonarian, dem, demi, denimarian. Demi, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'll look it up. Right. It's called Nutramax denimarian, and she is literally back to normal. She's after doing well. Four days of it, so I'm just going to put her on a bunch of supplements and yeah. do everything that I researched says to do yeah and make her her own dog food so lychee's good we are we're gonna monitor her for the next couple weeks and then she'll get blood tests again to make sure that everything is going well so that's what's up with lychee over the past couple days we've what have we been doing um we've done a little bit of thrifting pay ten dollars for these uggs leather loafers they're men's like driving loafers pretty nice i think if we can clean them up we should be able to get 35 to 40 bucks for those and then I found this pair of Patagonia swim trunks. We do really well on these and it was $3.99 half off. So I only paid $2 for this nice pair of Patagonia trunks. We, oh, we got a big wholesale order in, like a $5,000 deal. And we're getting a new roof on our house. Roof. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm working on fanny packs. Ooh. Yes. Allie's working yeah. on fanny packs. We just got the pictures of the beanies. beanies. Um, so like they're making them and they sent us a picture of one made and they look awesome. Incredible. So expect those. Today is Wednesday. We are going thrifting. We're heading out to Wesley Chapel Salvation Army to go hit the half off day for clothing and shoes. On Wednesdays where we are, it's half off at Salvation Army. So we'll go out there and see what we can find. Should be a good day. Back to normal, back to thrifting. If you didn't see our live show, we are not coming to Texas. That trip has been postponed for right now. Until we get a final blood test on lychee to analyze if everything we're doing is working for her and making her better. Right. Which I can't imagine how it wouldn't if she's acting completely normal. So yeah. more than likely, when we get back from our speaking event in Kansas City, which is March 8th through 10th, when we get back from that, we'll probably come out to Texas. So expect us to be in Texas middle to end of March. That's the plan. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's go to the thrift store and see what we can find to resell on eBay. Oh my goodness, guys, look what it is. Our favorite place in the world. Coming soon to you. Rally <laughs> sing-along songs. You do not want me to sing along or sing in general, Ooh. ever. All right, let's go see what we can find. Finding good stuff? Maybe. Shoes, look at all your stuff. Well, I'm trying real hard. Look for the made in Italy. Started with two carts full and worked it down to one cart. Still some great stuff in there. And then Allie's just looking through the rest of that stuff. Hi, right, babe? Yeah. You guys want to see something really interesting? Well, well, well. Looks like Salvo's. Let me see this. Opened up an eBay store. It's clearly it's our fault, babe. 
Clearly. <laughs> Before the comments come, it's obviously our fault. <laughs> yeah. Blame us. Go ahead. It's fine. Yeah. That being said, guys, that was a very successful haul at that Salvation Army. We spent just over $54 and we got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Some really cool vintage stuff that we'll show you guys a little bit later. Very unique things that we had never seen before. Yeah. So we'll yeah. see what happens. So now we are going to find a Goodwill, I think, to go oh, source from. Oh, that's right. We had no service in there. Possibly. Let's check it out. That is super Tommy for your mommy. How much this is person it? made a terrible list. $13. I guess we're gonna pass on that Tommy jacket. Too many comps at like 30, 30 bucks. bucks. And it's gonna be padded flat rate. It's too bad. $13. I mean, it's not enough profit. Yeah. I did find this the North Face, babe. What? For your face? Yeah. Yeah, for your Whole face. Thing. <laughs> All right, guys, we spent. We spent eighty dollars and fifty cents there. A few of those things were for ourselves, though, so we're gonna run home and we'll show you what we got to retail. Okay, guys, here's everything that we got. We got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes and a whole bunch of clothing. So we'll show you each item one by one. First thing we found is these vintage Sorel, Sorel? I think it's Sorel. Sorel, vintage Sorel snow boots. They are a woman's size eight and we expect $40 out of them. Ugg Australia clogs. Uh, style number is 5426. There were multiple comps on this somewhere on the lower end. They are a little beat up and scratched in the wood area, which is hard to pick up on the camera, but the actual rubber itself is in amazing condition. So I guess it just got nicked sitting in the closet or in a bin of other shoes. But yeah, the insides of them are super clean. They look really great. We should get around $33. There you go. The camera picked up some of the scuffs, but they're nice and clean. I don't think someone will worry too much about that when they know that the insides are good and clean. This is a beautiful pair of Bostonian Florentine leather shoes. They are cap toe shoes and they have this cool weave leather here as well. So we paid, what do we pay? $9.99, half off, paid five bucks for them. And they do have the cool made in Italy marks on the bottom of the shoes. Found an exact comp on these ones for around $47. This pair of Born booty heels happen to be wingtips, which is really interesting. I haven't seen that before. I looked up comps on them, and amazingly enough, there were multiple comps. I was shocked. I found at least five to eight comps. So they were only $6, so we paid $3, which was really awesome. And the comps were between $35 and $45. Maybe we'll list them a little bit in between at $40 and just take a best offer. But even if we, you know, Except $35 for them, that would be really great. They're super cute. These were a really interesting find. They were Echo 
wedge sandals. I put that search in because I didn't know how else to find them. And I didn't find an exact comp on these like I did on the booties, which was kind of surprising. I really thought that I would find similar ones that have sold or even just exact ones, but I found ones that were brown that sold. And of this brand, we know it's a really good brand. They sold for $35. So I'm hoping we get 35 bucks for them and we paid $5 for a half off day, but they're really good looking. They're pretty attractive. I think that they'll sell for that reason. The North Face. For your face. <laughs> for your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is a the North Face button up short sleeve shirt, cool zipper pocket. We've sold a bunch of these before guys. This one cost us $5 and we expect to get between 21 and 25 bucks for this shirt. Also make sure you check for holes because a lot of the reason why somebody will donate their North, the North Face item is- because, You almost said North Face. I know, I almost said it, is because there is a hole in it, but also I just want to point out that the is one third of their logo. See, it doesn't want to focus because it knows it's just North Face. <laughs> This is an Orvis 100% Shetland wool. Whoa, Ooh. what'd you say? <laughs> Did you say sh Shet? <laughs> Shetland? Is it Shetland? Huh? No, I think it is Shetland. <laughs> oh my God, you're so mean. Shetland wool with a really nice um, fancy buttons if it focuses. All right. Good enough, guys. Found a comp for this for $50. Found some as low as $35. There is one listed currently direct competition. Oh yes, you modeled that, Ryan. And it's listed for $50 with another like a 10 for shipping. So we'll just list ours at $50. And we paid, we paid up for it actually. We paid. I think it was eight bucks. Yeah, around there, eight bucks for it. Oh, Ryan's gonna double check on that. There's no tag. No tag. It was eight bucks. <laughs> it was eight bucks, done. Check this out guys, from where we live, Tampa Bay, Florida. This is a 1999 NCAA Final Four t-shirt. Only paid a dollar for it. What'd you say? I don't know any of those words That's that you okay. just said. That's <laughs> okay. NCAA, what is NCAA. that? NCAA. It is a pro <laughs> player vintage t-shirt. And again, it was only a dollar. We should get probably 15 to 20 bucks for that shirt. This was one of those really interesting finds. The reason we purchased it was not for the brand because there's nothing special and or unique about the particular brand. It's the colors that drew us to these particular, what is it, pullover, sweatshirt, it's for golf. It has the word sawgrass on it, Ryan. What is sawgrass? Sawgrass is a golf course. It's a course. It's a, <laughs> it's a golf course. <laughs> Yep, Allison in sports wins again. So we paid, you can see right here, it was $3 each half off. So $3 for both of them and they're the same size. We're going to list them together. And if we get either between 30 and $40 for them, <laughs> we'll be happy with that. But they were just so cool. We didn't want to pass them up. It was worth a $3 gamble. So guys, cool. try to gamble. Look, look, it matches your shirt. That one matches your shirt. Yeah. That one right there. Oh my God, guys. Should we keep it? Just kidding. <laughs> Sell. I picked up this Lululemon men's green polo. It's green and black. Green on the front and then black on the back. It's a pretty cool polo. If you guys are not familiar with the brand, you should be. If you're a reseller, always look out for that logo right there. If you see that logo, it means money, money, money. So this polo right here, we did notice there is a bit of a flaw on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but even with that flaw, the item will still sell guys. Um, and we expect to get $25 plus for it. If it was perfect, it would be a $40 plus polo. But even with that flaw, still should get 25 bucks for that item. Grab this Randy extra, extra small polka dot, brand new with tags still on it. LuLaRoe top, paid only $2 for it. Hopefully we'll get around 25, but we would be happy accepting a best offer of $20 because it's super light and easy to ship. Up next is this Columbia PFG long sleeve button up shirt. It is the performance fishing gear one. You guys can see there, you should see that on the front and then on the back, it should also be vented. On the back, you should see it should be vented and it should have the PFG on the back right there. 
This shirt costs us five bucks and we get between 22 to $25 for those shirts. Always look for vented ones. Yes. This is a Dolphins rugby polo long sleeve. We'll list it around $23 and hopefully we'll get as close to that as possible. But check it out. Look at that. Look at those rugby stripes. It's really nice and good used condition. Find that much for myself. I <laughs> Things for you. That's not a lot for yourself. You're right, babe. You didn't no, find it. No, hey, that's not all mine. Some of that's presents in yours. Hey, that's four things. All right, guys. <laughs> This is a pretty cool brand to look out for. It is super dry. It'll either say like this, super dry genuine goods or Japan super dry. Um, this is just a long sleeve button down polo. And here's another look at the label right here. Pretty decent item. I don't know exactly what this one in particular will go for. I need to do some more research on it, but they are very expensive items. The jackets are the most expensive, but I still think we should get between 25 to 30 bucks for this Look item. Those buttons, what do they say? Yeah, the buttons are crazy. They say super dry. You're super dry. Athletic <laughs> whites. This nice Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Tommy for your mommy with a box logo. Check it out. And it even has a little embroidery right there. Uh, we only paid a dollar and fifty cents for it. Should go for twenty, which is a really good ROI. <laughs> there you go. Time for your mom. <laughs> that says Under Armour. Yeah. Not Alabama University, Arkansas University, <laughs> Arizona University, or Under Armour. <laughs> Guys, this is a, this is an Auburn University no! Under Armour polo. <laughs> oh, I was so close. It's in good condition, all embroidered, nice and clean size extra large, we get about 20 bucks for these polos, as long as they're listed with the right school. And it says, <laughs> Under Armour, to stand for the, or wait, not Under Armour, yeah, Under Armour, Under Armour. <laughs> Check this one out, guys. This is a Disney Parks embroidered Mickey polo. There's the little Mickey right there. These aren't huge money makers, paid $2.50 for it. We'll probably get between $17 to $20 for this shirt. The ones that sell for more money are the ones where Mickey has a golf club and he's like swinging his yeah. golf club. Yeah, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U, I see. Brian didn't want me to sing, but I'm singing anyways. Speaking of Mickey, look at this amazing shirt. Now this thing is vintage. It is from 1982. It has the date right there. Okay, good, I got the date right. There is a stain down here, but because it is white, I'm going to try to get the stain out and only wash the bottom portion of the shirt. It is brand new with the tag still on. It should be between a 45 and $50 item. We did pay up for it. We did pay $10. Thank you, Goodwill, for your premium prices. $7. Seven dollars <laughs> corrected by Ryan, as per usual. <laughs> Check it out, it's my size. But it's amazing, this shirt is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna try to get the stains out, we'll see how it goes. I'm only gonna wash the bottom portion, it's white though, so it's worth taking a gamble. And if we can't get the stains out, um, maybe $20, $25, but if we can, hopefully 50. So I bought this hockey jersey, we paid $5 for it. I bought it because of this, logo right here pro joy pro joy makes a lot of really nice hockey jerseys they're a canadian company and even on the tag here you can see it should say canada somewhere made in canada there you go the issue that we just found out right now is on the sleeves i don't know how i missed that how guys did you miss that? i don't know there's holes all over this thing so Right now, it's probably a scrap item. We all make mistakes. This is a mistake that we made. If any of you guys want this item, let us know and we'll send it to you for free. You'll see a trend currently and recently of us purchasing a bunch of J. Crew items. So I thought of one. J. Crew for me and you. J. Crew for me and you. Bam, got it. So yeah, it's been selling well. We paid. We paid a dollar for this one. Only a dollar. Yeah, it's one of the broken in 100% cotton polos. There you go, Ryan's gonna tell you about it because I don't know anything about it actually. Sorry, I took your glory. Yeah, <laughs> steal my glory. And then the TV's going off in the background. It's, whoa. <laughs> yeah, 
It's only worth probably 15 bucks, guys, but J. Crew stuff has been selling very well for us. So Super fast sell. A little bit of J. Crew for me and you. Check this out, guys. I was actually pretty excited to find these. These are vintage Everlast muscle sweaters, shirts. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they're like muscle, muscle crop top tees. There's one of them there, Everlast on the front and on the back. You'll see like old school boxers who like to wear these things. Um, they're really cool. That one says Everlast Choice of Champions on the front. I don't think there's anything on the back of that one. Um, but they're pretty cool, guys. I think that they'll sell for anywhere between 20 to 30 bucks a piece. All right, guys, check it out. I asked Allie if she wanted to do this one. Like, I just looked at it and said no, because I don't even understand any of this. Allie Knows Sports. We need to do an episode called Allie Knows Sports. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this is Adidas, the yep. three stripes. And then I'm thinking this is a bank. Okay, what sport is it though? I, um, what sport? It looks soccer. -ish. Yeah, there you go. Man, soccer. Ryan was like, "What's the team?" And I was like, "Um, BMO." No, My, <laughs> Montreal Impact. It is a Adidas soccer jersey, and on the back, you guys can see Duval number eighteen. It's a decent jersey, guys. I think we should get between twenty-five to thirty bucks for this one. And now for our two favorite Ooh. finds Ooh. of the day. Ooh. Ooh. Both of them, <laughs> both of them are vintage. Both of them are really, really cool guys. One is Nautica, the other is Guess, and here they are. Ryan found them both. I did. <laughs> I actually kind of freaked out when I saw this Guess vintage striped shirt, only because there is a Grail shirt. If you find one that says Guess Jeans USA, I think is what it says right here in the middle, all embroidered. Those shirts can be worth anywhere from like $75 to $140, depending on which shirt it is. And the long sleeve ones are worth even more. But even so, this vintage Guess striped shirt, if you look at the very bottom here, that is pretty cool too. So it does say Guest USA with the trademark upside down triangle right there. I still think this is probably at least a $35 to $50 shirt. And last but not least, guys, is this absolutely fire, fire, vintage Nautica multicolored striped long sleeve. There's the Nautica crest right on the pocket there. Bam. And the coolest part about this shirt is flip, flip. Flip it, Delphia. Flip it. Oh, oh. Hold on. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Huge Nautica flag spell out on the back. I absolutely love this item. I think it'll go for at least $40. It's too legit to quit. You're too legit to quit. Damn. Hey, look at all the stuff you got for yourself. Oh my God, I swear. All right, guys, that is our entire haul for today. <sighs> Thanks for watching and hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up. Yeehaw. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up for the cheese. And we'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ryan Roots. And together, together we, we are Ryan Roots. Peace out, guys. Bye.